James, I'm just absolutely flabbergasted at the fact that you saw a bird flying. How unusual. <laughs> And he's just teasing, of course. But we have a really unusual looking elephant cow. Now, I'm hoping that she turns her head back towards us because the interesting part is with her tusks. You can see one tusk there. It looks fairly normal, don't you think? And it's actually growing out and, and coming across her trunk. So it's coming from the left-hand side across to the right. And then her right tusk obviously got the wrong directions when it was growing and has decided to go underneath the trunk. Isn't that incredible? Now she's very lucky, you know, that it hasn't that it hasn't grown into her trunk or back into her body because sometimes we see that with antelope with their horns, unfortunately, as well, just uh, don't go where they're supposed to go and end up drilling straight back into their head. It's very, very sad to see something like that. Let's see how she she's to go underneath. I suppose it's not too bad. It, I don't think it affects her negatively in any way at all. She's still got one tusk which she can use to dig, uh, but I haven't seen any of the elephants since I've been here digging other than, you know, loosening up the mud when they're wanting to have a mud wallow. So I thought that that was very cool and very unusual, and we like to see, uh, you know, the different ways that tusks grow. Obviously, we've got Fang uh, in South Africa who is... Well, we think she's the matriarch of quite a large herd of elephants that move around between the north and the south of the Sabi sand. And her tusk does a big loop and points back towards her belly. It's quite cool, actually. We haven't seen her for a while, though. And and then now we've got this elephant, another interesting elephant character of the Mara Triangle. We've been seeing lots with very long tusks or just one tusk. But this is the strangest formation I've seen so far. Now... Can you hear that? There's a very unhappy elephant in the distance and it's been trumpeting and trumpeting. And I'm trying to figure out why it's trumpeting. Shall we go and figure out together? What do you think, Manu? I don't know if we're going to get to the right spot. There is a, there's quite a few elephants around here. We've obviously got the small little satellite party here. And then the rest of the herd seems to be up ahead. And that trumpeting is coming from even further away because I was looking and I thought, oh, maybe this herd is distressed here. Maybe it's a cow that's unhappy with a young bull and trying to chase him out. But they're very relaxed. They haven't reacted not once to the sound of that distressing trumpet. So maybe we need to go beyond this herd and just keep following the road. And we'll find out what's... Maybe they're chasing something. Now, a question from Snazzy. As you're wondering, how did the elephants sleep? Do they sleep on the uh, on the ground, sort of standing or sitting? And um, so it depends. Young elephants, they get very tired. Those legs work very hard from trying to keep up with the adults all the time. So that often takes siestas. Whenever the adults will stop and feed in a particular spot, it's not uncommon to see them just flop onto their sides. So they will lay flat on the ground. Uh, with the adults, sometimes they do lay down, but it's not necessary that they lay down at all. Can you believe that? They don't need much rest at all at all in a couple of hours a day and it's proven that they don't actually need to s physically sleep every single day too so typically what an elephant will do is for maybe half an hour 45 minutes to an hour they'll find a nice shady tree during the heat of the day and sort of just stand motionless and just rest i've just gone off the road <laughs> it's luckily luckily there was no obstacles on the way there so um and then what they will also do is sometimes they'll lean up against termite mounds and use it uh, to help obviously stand up because when you're a big elephant it's quite difficult to get up and down constantly so the trumpeting is coming from in there what's that something is moving through the grass and it's moving not like an antelope or a gazelle is it a hyena oh no have we made it's a hyena it's many hyena